Hi everyone, Ryan here with part 2 of my walkthrough of Banjo-Kazooie. In this part, it'll be a trip to the seaside, but more on that in a moment. So, back at the start of the lair, if we just go up this hill with the talent rot, we will encounter the first of many note doors. And bottles, again. So he's gonna explain the purpose of these note doors, but uh, pretty much sum up what he's saying. In order to get through these doors, the combined high score of notes collected in each of the worlds in the game must be greater than the number on the door. In this case, since we got 400 notes in, in Mumbo Mountain, we won't have to worry. We can just walk on through. So, well, as you can see, there's a hundred. Trying to go through. Door opens. So, moving on. And there's Guntilda again. With her usual ranting. And her laugh. Over here is Gruntilda's sister, Gruntilda. Unlike her sister, see, she is good and wants to help you beat her. So for that front, she, she has gotten some of Gruntilda's rather not so nice secrets and will let you know what they are every time you find her. Now this might sound pointless, but trust me, this will come in handy later. So, let's hear these three clues this time. Eee, that uh, sounds ugly. Uh, how was that hell even that nice? That's not so bad for witch's warehouse. I imagine they'd stock most witch things. And over here is the picture to World 2. Treasure Trove Cove at the beach. So if you step on here, we'll start concerned the pieces. And Bottle's there telling us if, how to remove a piece if we want to, which we won't. Go on, Bottles. Here we go. That's world two open. With the entrance being a treasure chest. Right, so before we go, ignore him and quickly go down these stairs. We'll find some eggs and a cauldron. Basically, the purpose of these cauldrons are there's various throw the until this layer. Each time you find two of the same colour, you can both use those to warp, so it can be very handy later on. And yes, there was also a mumbo token behind there, which best to pick up now since the price for mumbo's transformations is only going to go up. But more on that when we do need them again. So, if we go up here, into another area, which Looks like some kind of waterfall. Just go into here quickly. Take care of him. And there's another portal. Unfortunately, not the same color. Although I imagine that would be a bit weird with two colors being so close together. So if we jump up here, pick up a gold feather. Unfortunately, at the moment, they're completely useless. We'll find their use sooner or later. And here, got the token. So if we go back. Through the drain. And down the waterfall. Now that passageway to the right is where Grazat Pro Cove is. But before we do, just go in here quickly. Slowly but surely. We'll see another picture with lots of missing pieces. 
Don't worry, we'll be back here later on in the game. But the reason why we've come to here so early... If I can find it... Yes, but it's not Brintilda. We'll get her information later. Not the extra life. Oh, no, is it? There should be a mumbo token here somewhere. Ah, there it is. Get him now to save the hassle. And like I said, we'll be back here to see Brintilda and sort out that missing. That. That. Complete jigsaw. Oh, look, Gruntilda. She must have a microphone somewhere to communicate from her very cramped position inside that machine. Anyways, here's World 2, Treasure Trove Cove. So, time to go inside. And here we are at the beach. So, we'll pick up these four notes. Go. Two new moves here. And here is our first Jinjo. This might, might sound straightforward, but as soon as we go in the, the sea, right behind us is Snacker. A very nasty. Oh, damn. Fall back for now. Yes, go away, you stupid shark. Try this again. Jinjo, and get the hell out of there. There we go. Get him. There we go. Next thing we'll do is go over here and deal with this very giant crab. Or crap. Well, basically something with pincers. Called nipper. Yeah, get out of our way. Boost. That's one. Ah, no! Gotta time this right. Boom. Ah, no! Do it, do it, do it. No! Got him! And he'll retreat to the inside of the shell. And we shall follow suit. No sign of him. Must have gone away somewhere. So we follow this path of notes. Another crab. Deal with him. Ah, oh, get away from me! And now you go bye bye. Legs. And the first jiggy of this world. Now that we've got what we're after, we'll move on. Round and round we go. And back outside. the crab. Oh look, it's a very sad pirate captain. Let's see what he's so, so upset about. Captain Blooper! Oh dear. You're not a very good captain then. Hang on. You're a captain of a ship. And you can't swim. Guess we'll have to, Banjo. I'm sure he's got something golden to, to give us in return. If we go in here... Just a bit. Some notes, mumbo token, and some gold. Here we go. There's another... As you can see, there's another piece of gold on the other side of that room. Which we can't get to from here. So... We just get out of here. We go down here. No sea, so no shark to attack us. Go into here. Here we 
we go. More notes. And the other piece of blubber's loot. So I'll just get that. Double check there's... Nope, there's nothing above water, so... Let's get out of here. But first of all, let's return the loot. Come on, Bobber, give me something golden. Thank you very much. One more in the back. So, if we go up here quickly. Token deal in a moment. Pick up these wood feathers, which we're about to find out what they're for with bottles right here. And thank you for Kazooie, she now gets her wish to fly. Oh, don't worry, Kazooie, it's very easy. Just involves jumping on that pad head behind you and some extra wood feathers. We'll take the skies in a moment. More notes. No, I don't want to go back down there. Up here. Could be Lumbo token. There's another token over there, but I'll get that later. Oh, and balls are over there too. So just go over there. To learn the other move of this world, the shock spring jump. Or shock jump spring or whatever. Whatever it is, basically involves jumping on that green pad and doing it very high. <laughs> and that's both moves learned in this world. Go down here quickly. Uh, this bucket. Remember what Ball said to Kazooie in the last world concerning those eggs? She's about to find out oh, what's you, what he meant. Ooh, that's nasty. And again. But basically, if you shoot two eggs behind the bucket, he'll reward you by sinking that piece of water. Up in the sandcastle. Which we need to go into. Inside, we have a little puzzle. In order to bag another jiggy. For that, more notes. Basically, what we're gonna do, do here is using the floor and the beak buster to spell Banjo Kazooie in 100 seconds. So if we find the B. Here, here we go. Get that, and the clock starts. So A, N, J. Oh, and you can't hit the same tile twice, so gotta find a new one once you use it. So, need the K. K, here we go. Need another A. Here it is. Z. Z, Z, Z. Yep. First O. Another O. I. And E. I'll unlock the gate and let loose this crab. Not if I cut you down first, mate. Just like that. And we'll get our jiggy in on our way. So we'll be leaving the sandcastle for now, but we will be back here later on. Once we've got a few other things. More of that for another part. 
so now we've got to get back above ground. Found the entrance. Ignore the ramp. Are you chicken though? You must really like me. guys to find out what we're looking for. So, one jump, and we're in the air. Oh look, there's another Jinjo. So let's, let's see if we can bag him whilst still flying. Come on. Oh no! Ah. Messed it up. Come on. Yes! Gold. We keep flying over here. Another rumbo token about water. If we just land here quickly, just check that body of water. Hopefully, this should be a jiggy. If we go first person, there it is. Oh, go in. Pick it up. Get out of there before that mine gets you. Go over here and pick up this Jinjo. Keep going down. Pick up this crab. Get the notes. so we don't get caught in this very sharp teeth. Yes. And time to jump back out. Do the time for so we have to... Oh no. So if we go around here, so we don't end up in the water. Must become shark food. Over these boxes. That's a sledge. More ledges. And another jiggy. It's number five of this world. Mistaken, I think there might be a honeycomb piece down here. The only problem is, it's in the sea. Now we can check it later. Don't want to jump down there in case, in case I'm wrong. Up this little mountain. 
Okay. Ah, X marks the spot. If we smash this quickly. Ooh, a treasure hunt. Let's see where it goes. I will fly to make life a little easier. You can also check to see if I was right about the honeycomb piece. Please tell me if I'm wrong. Good. Here we go. Time to be turned to shark food. I didn't even know sharks like coffee. Ow! Get away from me, you stupid shark. Chasing me again. Open you gently, since you decided to play games with us. Gam! There we go. And another jiggy in the back. Ooh, another mumbo token. Another empty honeycomb. Do we fly over or not? Ah, screw it. Don't lose too much. Shock. Get away from the shark again. More notes. See if I can get two in one. Yes. Let's get back out. There we go. since we're already nearly at capacity concerning red feathers. No 
to go back over here and finally get these notes I've been missing for so long. Nice and slowly. And get the fall from the other tree as well. There we go. So we now get back to the top of the ship and get to the flight pad. And they go flying again. So if we just fly over here quickly, we have a very fast treasure chest inside. It's a diggy. Let's see if we can do a vision one. Yes! <laughs> yeah, let's see what tricks we have up in store, Gwintilda. Besides the shark. So now if we get back to that flight pad. Oh no! Get away from me! There we go. Beat the sock. So if we now fly back to the other opening, we have some stairs. Which should lead us to the top of here. Hey. What's up these keys? Some eggs. Ooh, and another ginger. Last one for this world, so that's going to mean another jiggy. Nope. Very nice bottles. Avoid the clamps. Dark panel up here. Then we're at the top, which contains our lighthouse. And the lighthouse is another witch switch, so let's get back quickly. Reveal another jiggy inside the lair, which we'll get shortly. We bust the door open. Another token, we'll go inside. We may a note of this world. And the final jiggy of this world. done with this world. Before we go though, one little thing I'd like to go to. So if we come down from here, make a nice descent back to land, back down the steps. So if we go get back to dry land, get back to the flight pad, Let's get back in the air. There we go. See that area with the sign up top? That's where we're going to quickly. Because if I'm not mistaken, there might be an egg in there. Let's just go inside just to be sure. Yes. That, that sounds good. Gotta find a way up. Oh, this could be tricky. Here we go. And again. And again. Just a few more times now, we should be up, up this bit. Oh no! No! Oh good. Wasn't that bad. At least we didn't go all the way down. So back up here again. Oh god, got be close to the top. Oh, 
Almost there. Two more steps. And here, here's what we're looking for. The pink egg. If you're playing this game alone, then it means not four, but if you're going to be playing the other games such as Banjo-Tooie or Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts, this will come quite handy. Thanks to Rare's stop and swoop features, which were finally fulfilled on the, on the Xbox. Pick up. Oh, hold on. Don't want Skype. Don't know what that was. I think it was the connect being stupid. So, if we go out here and exit the world. There's the entrance, so I'll buy Treasure Trove Cove. I'll be back here soon. Minus the shock. So now if we go up to the top of this cannon. Until Grunty's minions far enough away and bag him. If we go up here, here's the jiggy. Just pick up these feathers. And grab it. And there we go. Both jiggy and which is there. And that's gonna do it for this part, so tune in next time for part three. Thanks for watching.